Hello and welcome to Your World This Week, the weekly roundup for all the top news stories of the week. The top news stories this week are India witnessed a spike of nearly 10,000 new COVID-19 cases, taking the tally beyond 2.4 lakh while the death toll now nears the 7,000 mark. With this, India overtook Italy and Spain as it graduated to become the fifth worst hit nation. On the better end, over 1 lakh people have been cured and as per the health ministry, the recovery rate in India is now beyond 48%. Maharashtra continues to be the worst affected state with over 82,000 cases, followed by Tamil Nadu and Delhi with over 27,000 and 25,000 cases respectively. Meanwhile, the global tally has now crossed the 6.7 million mark, while the number of deaths has almost breached the 4 lakh mark. On a more positive end, over 3 million people have been cured of the deadly disease. US continues to report the highest number of cases as the tally nears 20 lakh and the death toll stands beyond the 1.09 lakh mark. The nationwide protests in the US have sparked concerns regarding the possible spread of the infection. Australia this week extended its support for India's candidacy for permanent membership of a reformed United Nations Security Council and membership of the Nuclear Suppliers Group. Australia extended its support at the first virtual summit with India. Prime Minister Narendra Modi and his Australian counterpart Scott Morrison jointly participated in the summit and the two countries elevated the bilateral strategic partnership concluded in 2009 to a comprehensive strategic partnership. Australia also welcomed the International Energy Agency's strategic partnership with India. The two sides also unveiled a shared vision for maritime cooperation in the Indo-Pacific and signed seven agreements focused on the crucial areas such as defence and rare earth minerals. After Cyclone Ampan creating havoc in West Bengal and parts of Odisha, it was Cyclone Nisarga that affected Raigarh, Pune, Ratnagiri and 14 other districts this week. The cyclone that is the second to strike India in two weeks hammered houses, toppled trees and damaged the plantations of cashew in the region. In Raigarh alone, several homes have been destroyed and more than 500 electric poles have collapsed. Maharashtra Chief Minister Uddhav Thakre took stock of the damage and announced an immediate financial relief of Rs 100 crore for the Riker district. US President Donald Trump sparked controversy this week on Friday, calling it a great day for George Floyd, whose death last week led to nationwide protests over police brutality against African Americans in the US. We all saw what happened last week. We can't let that happen. Hopefully, George is looking down right now and saying, this is a great thing that's happening for our country, he said. This is a great, great day in terms of equality, he added. George Floyd, who was killed on May 25th after a white Minneapolis police officer knelt on his neck for nearly nine minutes, there have been subsequent protests, which have included rioting and looting in many US cities. Trump had favored a military response to the protest as he threatened to use the federal troops to end the civil unrest. In a jolt to Bollywood, music composer Wajid Khan of Sajid Wajid fame passed away at the that Khan was suffering from kidney ailments. The Sajid Wajid duo had last worked together on Salman Khan's song titled Bhai Bhai, which was released on the occasion of Eid al-Fitr amid the COVID-19 induced lockdown. And here's the viral video of the week. Hope you like this edition of Your World This Week. We will be back next week with yet another episode of Your World This Week. Have a good day.